Hello Pisces, welcome to your monthly tarot reading for the month of March. The Nine of uh, Wands upright, the Fool upright, the Page of Wands, the Lovers, the Five of Wands, the Knight of Swords reverse, and the Nine of Pentacles reverse. Let me get two more out here. Four of Wands in the reverse position. And the Six of Cups. Okay, so very interesting. Um, the crowning energy deals with um, a situation that is, um, it could involve a falling out between friends, between lovers, between yourself and a friend, between yourself and lovers, between like yourself and a work uh, associate, okay? And it could also um, be like a revelation in which you see the truth of the matter and you're still in a state of shock and you're still in a state where you're incapacitated, like you don't know how to really proceed, okay? So what I'm sensing is, A, you have the situation in which you actually want to go back there, confront them, and give them a free piece of your mind. So that's what I'm sensing here. And in the process, you know, um, I just don't feel, I feel that, you know, both parties are at an impasse. So no one is going to give you anything new. No one's going to give you, like, um, if you've been wrong in the past, no one's going to give you that apology that you're looking for. And additionally, it's going to cause a little bit more strife within the relationship. So if the relationship itself, I feel that it can be salvaged. But the timing to do that, um, the timing to do that to, you know, um, hash it out and cry it out and things like that is definitely not this month okay and um, if you were to go back to it and try to resolve whatever conflict there is um, it's going to span the month and it's going to um, drag on past this month so I don't feel that it's it's very conducive to that because the other party is definitely on the defense okay for those of you who have recently left a, a love situation or like a partnership or a friendship I feel that the other party is really afraid to let you go. They're really afraid to lose you. So they're not going to, you know, say that up front, but I do feel a lot of um a lot of regret on their end that the situation has played out this way. So but they're not going to apologize for it because um like I said the energy itself is not closure inducing for this month, okay? Um, just keep that in mind. Um, whatever you decide to do, though, I would say, you know, take a breather from this. Try something new and take a step back from this situation because um, you don't want to get mired in the inconclusiveness of it. I don't think it's going to serve you well this month, okay? And I feel, too, a lot of you um, might have, like, moved out of a home that you've been living in for the past few months or the past few years. And a lot of you might have, like, left relationships, too. So I just feel that, you know, whatever it is, wait until April. Wait until April and the energy will clear up and you will definitely have, like, a lot more, I guess, um, opportunities for reconciliation because I, I do feel that this is a situation that can be repaired because we do have the soulmate card in the upright position. And it's also... Um, you know, it, it indicates like um, the relationship itself have they haven't run their course yet, so it's not completely over. Okay, so you do have more um, opportunities in the future, just not this month, but in the future things will come, um, things will cycle back around again, and then you can choose to work things out or you can choose to move forward once and for all. Because I still feel that it's going to be dragged on past this month okay so just keep that in mind but I would definitely say um, one of the advice here which is you know interesting because uh, we have the fool he is backwards looking and he's actually trying to plunge into this situation um, I would advise against it just because the cards surrounding the fool aren't looking very great uh, we do have the Page of Wands, which is, you know, um, a lot of, like, directing your energy in the wrong places, okay? So, and he's also looking back at the situation, and I would say, you know, that's not the best thing to do right now. We do have the Knight of Swords in the 
reverse position which is indicative of charging in too fast okay so I would also advise you against that so that past situation like I said is not going to be resolved so don't act on it this month okay what I'm sensing though um, you know with the lovers card in the upright position a lot of you have you know new opportunities and new you know people coming in on the love front and on the partnership front and even friendship as well um, with the six of cups and it, it's I see a lot of opportunities opening up for you so you know I would say like since this I would advise you to go with the new things and let this drag on for a little bit because it's not going to be resolved and additionally don't dr uh, dive into it don't dive back into it because um, it's going to prove troublesome because the other party that you're dealing with is not as receptive okay so it's going to be really hard to approach this situation in an, an objective way for you and for the other party just because um, it's too soon it's just too soon so I hope you can wait it out okay but I do have like new nice energy coming in for you and um, I would say you know this is a situation in which um, okay so there are quarrels and there are like um, it's it's a it's a competition so the person that you are involved with what let me see here the person that you are involved with might have like uh, multiple contenders for their affection so just be a little bit careful about that or you could be arguing with that person from the past um, surrounding the their uh, the people around them so there might be you know um, concerns about infidelity and things like that or concerns about you know if, if it's a friend that you've had a falling out with you're uh, concerned about you know the new people that they're hanging out with who you think might be a little immature or who might not be like um, good company for them to keep okay so keep in mind that um, they are adults and they should proceed with their life and learn their lessons their own way okay so um, yeah let that situation go but um, I do see a lot of concern when it comes to people in their midst so you might not feel that the people have their best interests at heart but um, that is a definitely a lesson that you they have to learn and additionally to um, coming in with the knight of swords I just feel that um, a lot of people in your midst this is yeah a lot of people in your midst might be mishandling things and relationships and you know um, there might be a lot of disputes too if this is yeah this could be on the job front as well with the pentacles card um people are like kind of verbally just they're just mean mean-spirited and what i'm sensing is um they might be too quick with criticism and as well for those of you dealing with an air sign this is an aquarius a libra or a Gemini uh, I would say Aquarius and Libra for those of you who are dealing with an air sign you know they, they might be like too quick with their judgment and it catches you off guard and it it, it, it could be hurtful it could be very hurtful with this um, situation the nine of Pentacles here okay so um, I would definitely say you know like again if that um, air sign is from your past I don't feel the situation is going to be resolved anytime soon so there's like um, you know impasse here and then you know um, wanting to to go back into the situation and settling the score you know and then like more infighting and then you know people are like going back and forth with their words and you know their hurtful words so this energy is going to be dragged on okay the the only two yeah the only two energy that I have is you know get yourself back out there okay because new opportunities with the fool and the lovers new opportunity in partnerships and in love and in life experiences too life opportunities are calling you so give this a rest for this month and go with the new and then I f honestly feel that, you know, like April, things will resolve on their own. Okay? So just go with the new, and I, I would say give the old a rest if you can. I feel that, you know, you, you do still have a lot left, and you do want to salvage that relationship or that friendship, or that even that project, that work project, too. So um, it's just the energy for this month is not conducive for any type of, you know, closure-seeking endeavors. Okay? So keep that in mind. Um, 
and just focus on what you have at the present right now okay you know also interestingly I was talking looking at this card and it's um you have two cups left right and you have two major arcana cards that are um, bringing you opportunities and they're also like opportunities in your midst so there is also you know emotional fulfillment with a lover and also like a lot of abundance in your life with the fool okay so a lot of things um, are still left for you to really enjoy your life and manifest the things that you want and forging a new path for yourself even okay so um, keep that in mind keep that in mind and let the situation unfold and let them resolve themselves okay so i do hope you have a wonderful march please like subscribe and share